Alright. Um Zomboid again. I almost said void walkers. Or void wanderers. See see I'm all messed up today here. So that's the that's the kind of episode you're getting into. I'm all confused today. <laughs> we'll kill this zombie. Jeez. Die. Gotta make sure to charge up them swings. My expert carpentry? Didn't I have or wait, no, I had master carpentry, didn't I? Uh oh yeah there. Master carpentry. So I'll grab the expert. And I'll have a complete set. Actually I gotta put that here because I'm full on space. Okay. So yeah. That's what we did last time. We looted the crap out of this house. Now I need to leave. Go ahead and drink some water. And I'm out of here. Now do you guys remember where the base was? I think it was this way. I think. Somewhere. Oh yeah, here's this dirt path I followed a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I got this. Getting a little hungry, but that's okay. We got food. Uh, I'll just leave that open. I keep debating whether or not I should keep that window shut. Very closed, or whatever you call it. You know, it's small and out of the way, and it's nice to know you know, some stuff at all times. Oh, speaking of stuff, I apparently have gotten a skill point in... Well, I've gotten a skill point, and then I also have enough skill in Blunt to apply that skill point. So that's the thing, you have to get the skill up to a level, oh crap, to a point where you can actually apply it. And then you have to actually get a skill point from getting enough experience. So now I am at level 1 blunt weapons and my house was back down that way wasn't it I'm busy running from zombies yeah I thought I went a lot farther from base than I did yeah this is my house isn't it yeah it looks like I lost them see that's when I'm, I'm motivated to close the window when I got the skill with list open that's a lot bigger when it's just the health list then it's fine or even info you know it's a, it's a low low profile window but I don't need that open except for to see my zombie count or zombie kills count uh, so yeah. did I get any stuff see I forgot what I what I grabbed because it's been since yesterday all these carpentry books well no I'll put the, I'll put the books in the house you know that's that's just where you put books in the house um Yeah, I don't really see anything I really need to have out here. So I guess we won't put anything out there. That's something I'm going to have to make a run for is some tools and building supplies. And I'm not sure what I'm going to want to build, seeing as I have this house. But maybe I'll want to move a little farther out into the woods. But we'll see how this goes. For now. Like somebody had put a bunch of tips, and, you know, I totally agree with all of those tips. And one of the tips, most important one, I think, in, in my eyes, because I always forget to do it, is to have a, have a plan B. Have an escape plan. Have a place to go. You know, a thing to do. In case of emergency. I never have that. So that, that should be one of my priorities. Is get an escape plan. I think there's probably a good chance I'll want to run did I just run around with these windows open I think I did um, but I think I'll want to run up that way towards the edge ish of the map that gray stuff I, I'm assuming that's the edge of the map and then I'll probably head north I'm assuming this direction is north that's my that's my north and yeah we'll head north figure it out from there. Maybe I should scout that out, you know, in the next couple days here. Uh, 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 focus on what I'm doing. I gotta put stuff down. I grabbed a bunch of, let's see, there's some carrots. Here, here's what I need to do. Open this list up as far as it'll go. Okay, boom, boom, boom. And some cheese, some chicken, uh, meat patty, pie, ooh, the pizza, 
steak and strawberries. That's all refrigerated goods. So we'll let that move in there. Because unlike other games, and that can go in there too, unlike other games, inventory management isn't an instantaneous type of thing. It takes a moment. Alright, so we're, we're putting our stuff on this shelf, right? Or did we, ha did we have another shelf I wanted to put stuff on? What's this shelf? Eh. Meh. I like this one. Let's see here. That one, and there was one more, right? Oh, wait, that was in my main inventory. Yeah. Okay. Notice that uh, even though I gr drug it over there, it's not going yet. Now it's going. Because all the other ones were going first. You have to queue it up. So let's see here. What do we got? Where do we want to pl put some crap? Where's where's my food hole? I know I got a food hole. Here we go. <laughs> where's my food hole? It's called your mouth. Popcorn. I got two popcorns. Not sure why that's a point of interest. Now, <laughs> check it out. Popcorn. Woo. Looks awesome. Okay. Where do I put my tools? Here we go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Sounds good to me. I'm going to have to put that pistol out in the shed. Or use it. Actually, well, uh, I don't know how to use guns, actually, in a game like this. Because, I mean, yeah, it shoots zombies, but they're loud, and you don't want to attract all kinds of zombies. You know, you kill the zombies to keep yourself safe. So if I fire the gun to try to kill a zombie, I'm just going to attract more zombies, and that's going to make me unsafe. So that's counterproductive. i got to find a time when it's useful. You know, maybe when I'm getting run over. Maybe when there's like a ton of zombies on me, I can just pull it out. Of course, pulling stuff out in time of, of desperation is always a bad idea. You know, because I got to get in here, and then I got to, oh, okay, and then I, oh, I quit primary. I don't know, I might be alright. Okay, what am I doing? Get some sheets. There's no storage in the bathroom. That's unfortunate. I like a bathroom storage. Uh, so I, I'm gonna have to. Is there another? There is another bathroom upstairs. The main bathroom. The master bathroom. Let's put that bath towel over there, and we'll keep our drugs in this one. And we'll put the sheets over here too. I have a couple of sheets in the bathroom. You know. Actually, I've got, I've got more windows that need to be blocked off. I need to keep those. And I have to check. I have to double check downstairs, make sure I got all those blocked. I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. All right, now I can start with the upstairs. The one at the top of the stairs is probably one of the most important. I'm gonna be passing that all the time, as well as this one, I'm sure. Same kind of principle. Because if the zombies see you, they'll come running after you. Of course, on on standard survival, they're they've got. I think I I don't know, but I think they have all their stats s stats set to normal. Blah, words. So like normal vision, normal hearing, normal smelling. Let's see that stuff. Yeah, that stuff I wanted to put out in the shed. Okay. Inventory management nearly done. We're probably going to eat some food here, and then uh, time is getting down, so we're going to we're going to go to sleep. I think. Wait, which? Didn't I have stuff on the shelf? No. I don't know. Guess not. Uh, let's let's put the garbage bag on the other shelf. Resources and stuff. Pistol and the bullets in the weapon cabinet. Or should this... Yeah, this this should be the weapon cabinet down here. Give me that bag. Hold on a sec. This should be the weapons. This should be tools. So, yeah. Weapons. Weapons and ammo. There's no point in putting the ammo in a separate container. Unless I get so much of it. And then I'll build a box in the corner. Or something. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't expect to get that far. Because I've never gotten that far. 
Not that I've played this game a ton, but I have put a few hours in. Alright, now I'm, I'm actually starting to get some hunger. So we need to eat. What do we got here in the fridge? Let's see here. Um, let's see, on the wiki you can make cheese sandwiches, like grilled cheese sandwiches, but I need bread. So I'm going to have to wait with that, so I'm not going to eat the cheese or butter, because I need butter to oil the pan, or whatever, to grease the pan. You know, everybody knows how to make grilled cheese sandwiches. And if you don't, you should figure it out, because they're tasty. I'm going to have to go make one now. Freaking balls. Um, not, oh god, I'm hungry. I'm hungry in the game, and I'm hungry in real life. Um, let's see here. Let's, let's go, well, no, that's, or, no, that doesn't do any, uh, happiness. That's what I'm trying to think. I thought that the pie would make me happy, but no, it just, it just is hunger. Alright, well, eat, uh, eat a fourth of it. What does that do? Still a little hungry, so eat another fourth. Alright, now we're good. Because we really don't need to pile on the, the, the feeding stuff, because that just adds... It adds healing and, and strength, you know. So if I need to heal, I'll eat a lot of food. If I need if I need a lot of strength, if I need to be strong, to be able to hit hard and carry a lot of loot, then I might eat a lot of food. But probably not too often in those cases, because that's not as survival-oriented. Well, I mean, it is, but not as much as healing my wounds, you know what I mean? Do you know? Yes, of course you know. Cause I just told you. Okay. So it's, uh, it's about sleep time. Except for I'm not tired yet. Oh, yep, uh, yep, uh, yep. Yeah. Well, I just I just got tired. And that that house over there. I don't I don't remember looting that one. I might have. Let me close these. I might have. So you know if there's. Oops. Oop, ooh. Get down there. So if there's nothing in there, you know. There's nothing in there. Haven't opened the front door, anyway. Let's do that. I like doors to be easily accessible. In case I need to run in. Oh yeah, I remember doing this door, but I don't I don't think I looted. No, nah, I didn't. Wait, no, no, put it put it in the bag. Ah, put it in the bag. And the pie. Oh, close the mini menu. Drag. Drag. Shoes? No, no, not shoes. I'm wearing those. Keep your shoes on, dude. Okay. What else we got? Oh yeah, I think I think I looted these, but I didn't loot the fridge. Strange. That's my line of logic for you. Make sure everything up here is good and gotten. Because if I miss the fridge, I'd probably miss other stuff, too. Yeah, look, here's a sheet. Sheets are neat. Haha. -ha. Wait. Oh, that's a window. I thought that was like a bathroom door. Jesus Christ. I'm going to take the curtains off of all these windows. Then I should have enough to cover my windows. Unfortunately, and it's just aesthetics, really, but unfortunately, when you take the curtains down and put them back up, it turns into a sheet instead of actual legitimate curtains. So, you know, I would like to have some nice looking curtains instead of a redneck style bed sheet. Um, zombie? Um, okay, bye. <laughs> Stupid zombie. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. What's for this? Wah. Jeez. Stumble a bit? The zombie is drunk. I wonder if a zombie could get drunk. Y you know, I'll bet you he could. I'll bet you a zombie could easily be drunk. You know, or stoned, or whacked out on an, any kind of, you know, hallucinogens or something. I mean, can you imagine if a zombie was hallucinating? I can't, because I have no idea what they would be hallucinating about. I mean... That's something that nobody's ever touched on in any kind of media that I've seen. Zombies using drugs. Come on now. <laughs> you know? I mean, 
Everybody likes drugs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, they could, they could, they could have it so that, you know, I don't know, you, you, you do something in order to get the zombie drunk, and then he's not as much of a threat. Although zombies aren't much of a threat, anyways. I don't know. I don't know how you'd write that into a story and make it good, but somebody do it, because that sounds like a good idea. That sounds <laughs> sounds cool. There's the sheet. Scroll down. There. Alright. Now we're tired enough to go to sleep. I want to make sure to get all these windows covered. Oh wait, remove curtains. Close curtains. Oh yeah. It just had one of those draw shades, or whatever they call it. Just a little, little pull thingy. It looks like I didn't need so many sheets after all. I just had the the one window in here. Oh no, that one's covered too. Jeez. Well, balls. I guess I didn't need any sheets. So fine. We'll put them away. This one too. I don't need that either. Uh, Painkillers. That needs to go in the bathroom. We gotta keep all the medicine in the bathroom. I'm not sure where that custom kind of came from, but that's what it is. Because because we don't really have a designated room for you know medicine and healing. We have rooms for sleeping, rooms for eating, rooms for cooking, rooms for sitting around, and rooms for pooping. Oddly enough, the rooms for cleaning yourself and the rooms for pooping are the same one. Isn't that strange? It's strange when you actually think about it. I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't want, you know, the poop bucket to be in the same room as I'm going to be cleaning my body in. I mean, how does that make any sense? I mean, yeah, you flush, I know, the whole lever thing, but still, give me a break. It's just, it's just, it seems a little weird, especially with the whole, the whole toothbrush thing, you know, I mean... Yeah, I can I can I can understand plumbing wise it might be easier to run some plumbing all the plumbing to the same to the sink, to the toilet, and to the, the shower, all from the same kind of on a plumbing aspect. But still, I mean the brushing of the teeth, that might be that might be one of the things that you want to do somewhere else. Cause that's going in your face. Okay. Now that I'm done ranting. Freaking balls, I should almost have like a little side series me just going off about nonsense. But then I'd still have to go off about nonsense on here. It wouldn't solve anything. <laughs> what am I doing today? What am I doing today? Today, I'm going to get myself killed. Huzzah. Okay, so this, this house is completely checked out. Nice and well looted, so let's check the next. I want to check the neighbor. The you know I want to check out the neighborhood. Make sure all the food around here is taken. All the all all the all the anything that I want really is taken. Uh, let's see. Uh, open, open. There we go. And yeah, make make sure the neighborhood is all. You know, take all the neighborhood loot, and then I'll start heading out and see if I can find like building supplies. You know, scout the area some more. See you know, figure out that escape plan I was talking about. Looks like I've been in here. These houses are all the exact same. The kitchen over here in the corner with the little boop boop in the corner and then the the stove over there and the refrigerator on that side of the doorway. Okay, yeah, it looks like I probably come through here and got everything. I'm just going to assume that everything else is gotten from upstairs and stuff. Ah, that shed, that it taunts me. There's probably nothing in it, too. Let's see what this is. This looks like it has a little parking lot out in front, so it's probably more commercial. Might be a little family doctor house or something. I don't know. Oh, we got a zombie bearing down on me. Come on, you. Yeah, I see ya. 
guapa. Can't take a baseball set. Ball, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, ha, yeah, yeah. So there. Oh god. Baseball bat. Why does there gotta be so many bees? Bit, 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 stick. I said I, I actually do that every once in a while. You get stuck on a word so long, it's just like screw it. Say something else. You know, just like just like Porky Pig, man. He he know he knew how to handle it. Okay, for, if at first you don't succeed, try a few more times. But if, if you still don't succeed after that point, try something else. No point in wasting your entire life trying to say one word. Freaking parking lots are just wide open and they can see me from a mile away. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, we good? How am I gonna get in here? Looks like looks like some kind of convenience store, grocery store of some kind. Hmm. Both doors are locked and these windows don't open because they you know, they don't open. There's no other windows. Well, this is what we do. And then we get out of there. I'll be back at some point to climb through that window. For now, we'll let the zombies take it. We gotta play the long con. See, this way, the zombies have no clue where I went. Like a ninja into the woods. Just, ha, I'm gone. Don't even need a smoke bomb, these, these zombies are so slow. Thinking about, I was just thinking about, you know, I wanna, I wanna maybe build a house eventually, like, like build a house, not just have a house and build something like a, a shed or something next to it. Like build my own house. And I was thinking, maybe in in the little crop of trees. You know, cut down a bunch to make a little clearing, and use that wood to build a, a house in there. Of course, I could just build over here, not have to worry about space. Well, windows. I don't know. Let's see, there's there's a house. I'll check that. Couple houses. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Wapa. No, I don't see you, but I know you're there. There, that sound means you're dead. And the fact that I can loot you means that you're dead. You always gotta have your ways of checking. If you can't check his pulse, check his pockets. <laughs> Get a little bit tired, but that's because we're overweight. We must always remember this. Don't try to do more than you can do. Well, I was hoping for it to open. I was hoping to open. Ha! Rhymage. Look at this guy. What's up, buddy? Got anything? No? Alright. What's on that shelf? Let's see. I don't know exactly what to use a sheet of paper for, but since it's so light and so small, I'm gonna go ahead and take a few just so I have some. Maybe at some point I'll look on the wiki or something and, and I'll see. I mean, I've already looked on there a few times and saw some stuff, but... Mm, butter, ketchup, soda, and some more salmon. Just gotta make sure to put more variety in my salmon. I think that was the problem last time I made a salmon meal. It was just, it's just unhappiness. Man, if I had a pan full of salmon, with with a little bit of leek sprinkled in there, you know, whatever leek tastes like, uh, I think it, it's supposed to taste a little like oniony or something, isn't it? I don't know. Cause it kind of looks like an onion, doesn't it? A little bit. So. Hey, some whiskey. All right. Oh, zombie. He's just trying to get clean. That's why he was still in there, because he can't accomplish it. He's a zombie. You ever try to wash a zombie? It's like trying to sweep the dirt out of the outside. You know, you go outside with the broom out in the dirt, you know, 
dirt driveway or something and just try to sweep up all the dirt, it's, you, can't, you can't do it. You might actually be able to get down to a point where it's not, you know, if it's if it's hard packed enough, you might get to a point where there's no more loose sand. Oh god, just multiple zombies. But, you know, there's a good chance that it won't be that hard packed and you'll just, like, dig a hole with your broom. You know, th things that you try when you're a kid because, y you know, you're a kid. You like screwing around? What is this? This is a duffel bag. Okay, weight reduction of 65 and capacity 18. This is 20 and 70, so this is better. Equip. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to unequip this one. There we go. Now we can equip that one. <coughs> Ooh, phlegm. Um, okay, now we got to equip that one into my hand so I can get my. Yeah, fumble fingers, click on stuff. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Put all of this stuff in the new bag. And then we'll just get rid of the old bag. Or maybe I'll keep it in like... Well, I don't know. What am I going to do with it? I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here. I mean, really, what am I going to do with it? That's my hoarder mentality. I got a little bit out of real life. It's like, man, I, I can't leave it. It's a good bag. It's useful. It does stuff. It's a good bag. But why why do I need it? I don't. I don't even think you can chop it up for, like, bandages or anything. Ooh, another baseball bat and a golf cl club. A couple of weapons. Definitely good to have. And you know what? While I'm while I'm here grabbing stuff, I'm gonna rip these into bandages. I'm gonna put some of these away. Um. Yeah, I, I think this is the only way to put away like partial stack. I wanna keep like four in my main inventory. Well, no, let's let's go with like six. Cause everything that I put in that bag, I'm gonna end up putting away so that I'm not carrying it. So I want to make sure I have enough bandages on me at all times. That includes the bandages I need uh, it, you know, in the immediate future, the bandages I need in the far future, and the bandages I'll need after I should have replenished but I didn't because I forgot. So I need to account for all of that. See, that's that's how you that's that's how you life. <laughs> that's how you do life, man. You, you make sure to compensate for your weaknesses. Wapa. Like this zombie. Not compensating. Not compensating at all. Uh, that that zombie I can't can't, I can't can't judge whether or not that zombie's compensating enough. Haven't haven't had the uh you know whatever. I don't know. <laughs> this is getting to be madness here. The, lonely, the loneliness of the zombie apocalypse is starting to take a toll on my mind. Get out of here, zombie. You don't you don't need to see this. Dish towel. Hey, ah, okay. Because if I decide to start making a whole bunch of Molotov cocktails, I want to make sure to have those. And an extra lighter. You know, if I see one of those, I may as well grab it. Fire is good. Fire is helpful. Fire is a tool. Dog food is not helpful. Well, it is helpful if you're dying. It's not helpful if you're sad. <laughs> it makes you unhappy. Okay, I'm getting hungry and I'm getting tired. Let's see, I just grabbed these pickles. Give me them pickles. Eat all them pickles. Yum. I didn't even do nothing. Whoa. Kablam. Somebody's popping off at the gun. Better be careful about that. See, that's the thing. I, I, I hear gunshots, but I never see anybody. So I don't know if that's just not been implemented yet, because this is a game in development, or if I just haven't seen anybody. I don't know. In, in the sandbox mode, there is a section where you can go to survivors, and 
the only the only option on the pull down menu is none. You know, survivors none. You know, you, so I would have to say that they're probably not implemented. You know, just the whole gunshot in the distance and the zombies running after it. That's implemented. And that's pretty cool, I think. It's kind of a neat little random event to have happen. Alright, well, I'm in the, getting tired, so I need to head back to base. And holy balls, it's already been a half hour episode. Jeez, time flies when I'm playing this game. It's crazy. But yeah. And when, I, when, when I've decided to build a house somewhere. See, that'll probably be my backup, backup plan. My escape plan will be to go to go to some place and build a house. Or maybe I should go to pl some place and start building a house there already. You know, go there, build a l build it a little bit up, you know, get it partially done, partially livable, maybe a little storage even. Maybe. And then come back to the main base and do my thing until I need to leave. Maybe. But, you know, I can I can make whatever plans I want, but I'm not going to remember it later. Get off of me, zombie. Jeez. I know you're there somewhere. There you are, laying on the ground. Freaking zombie. I'm out of nowhere, bit onto me. Got some miter pain. I got I got I got scratched on my neck. God dang it, this better not make me a zombie. Well, I got it bandaged. Ah. Came out of nowhere too, did you see that? I mean, of course you did. Ballsack. Just as I'm making all these plans, long-term long plans and stuff, and I get bit on the neck. Now, I can't guarantee that I'm, I'm infected. I can't guarantee that I'm not, either. I can't guarantee either way. Balls. Well, that's a heck of a cliffhanger, huh? It's about to be. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat food, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. And then we're gonna end the episode. Just a little heads up. First, I gotta eat. Let's eat a slice of pie, because that'll be nice and quick. Let's eat. Oh wait, we got this this one here. Yeah, let's let's eat half half of the remainder, I think. I think is what we do there. Or did it Did that eat the rest? I think that ate the rest, didn't it? Yeah, because I don't see it here in my main inventory. That's where it would be. I gotta put one. Can't speak. Words. Gotta put all my stuffs away. Gotta eat some more pie. Yeah, eat, eat half of that pie. Yeah, there we go. Whoop. Pie back in the fridge. More stuff for there? No. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta put. Let me pin these. Because it looks like a little pin icon. That's why I call it pinning. Um. And I think that's you know, just kind of a established forum word too. Is pin look pin things? But I don't. I don't think it really applies here though. I don't know why. I, you know, I brought that up. But because you know, pinning. You pin stuff on forums. You pin stuff in this game. You pin it right there. See, it's a pin. It's not a pin now. It's a pin now. Right there. See, you pin, and then... And then that. <clears throat> yeah, whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. Put that away. Some ramen. Uh, gotta pay a, uh, pay a visit to my tool shed. Whacking off in the tool shed. Wow, I'm getting tired. Better go to sleep soon. But I gotta put this stuff in the tool shed. Got a couple of weapons. Do do do. Takes forever. That's because they're big items in a in a you know in a bag. So you've got to be able to you got to take it all the way out of the bag. Or you know, or whatever. What was this supposed to be? Tools? 
Well, I mean, the hammer is about the only tool that I really know of. Besides the saw, there's a hammer and the saw. I don't know. I'm just gonna put crap in there. Uh, not that crap. Just this crap. Did I have anything here I wanted to? No. Okay. Okay. Back in the house. Might as well close this window up a little bit. Oh, close the door. Don't want to let in the zombies. Is there a way of the light switch? Here we go. Dim the lights in here a little bit. Like I said, I, uh, um, not like I said, but is there a light here somewhere? But like I, I wrote on, on the comments, when, when, like I was talking about that, meh, words, when I was talking about the, the guy who put that tip, the, the list of tips, I put on there that I, I'm not sure, but I think the, the zombies are more aggressive at night. It seems like it anyway, that's what I've seen. That's, you know, as I run around at night, they seem to be coming after me more than normal. Of course, around here, there's really no zombies, so it's kind of hard to judge that from around here, anyway. Oop. Oop. Um, anyway. But yeah, I think I think they, they seem like they're more aggressive at night. I'd have to do a little more testing. But, anyways, we're getting to be a long enough episode here, so yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and end it right here. And we'll see you guys next time.